What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, yesterday I did a video talking about this Jay Williams, Kevin Durant uh, beef or situation, what have you. And I gave my thoughts then. And uh, I want to do another video because I just want to be honest. And I also want to play devil's advocate a little bit in this video. And... You know, ever since I've read more about it and, you know, I've seen what Steven uh, Jackson had to say about it. Now, let me say this. I still believe that ultimately Jay Williams was wrong to reveal this information. And I'll tell you why. Number one, as I said in my other video, there are certain things that you're not supposed to reveal as an analyst. Now, he said something about, well, maybe I shouldn't have revealed this, but uh, as an analyst, we talk about life stories. That's true. And there are certain things that most sports analysts or political analysts or whatever, whatever your field is, there are certain things that you should instinctively know is allow allowable to be said on the radio, okay, or on air, right? There are certain things that are G-rated or PG-rated. There are certain things that you should, you know, by instinct, and knowing these players, since you claim to know these guys, you should know what is acceptable to say on air and what is not. Not everything that you know about a player or every circumstance or experience needs to be said on the air. So as a former athlete in his own right, Jay Williams, he should know better than that, okay? And as I said before, when it comes to journalism, there's certain ethics involved, and there's some things that you shouldn't reveal. Okay, um, another thing that needs to be pointed out is, according to Jay Williams himself, this was a couple of years ago, okay? This was something that apparently, if it was said by Kevin Durant, he said it a couple of years ago out of anger to Jay Williams, okay? Why wait now? Why wait now to say it? Is it because... The Nets and the Bucks are playing in the playoff series. And that you're capitalizing off of this. And that you reveal this to some big wigs with ESPN. And, you know, they told you that they gassed you up. And like, like Steven Jackson said, they gassed you up to reveal this. And you're looking at your career and thinking you can get some type of, uh, you know, some hits and some buzz and momentum off of this. and and, you know, further your career. Because when I first heard Jay Williams years ago um, on ESPN, I started paying attention to him. I noticed he was trying to mimic and parrot Stephen A. Smith, basically. You know, trying to be controversial, trying to say, you know, shocking things, okay, for, you know, attention. You know what I'm saying? Rather than just being an analyst. So, Jay Williams is 100% wrong in that situation. I still believe that. But I have to say this, though. The more I thought about it, and I know Steven Jackson said that he just couldn't picture Durant saying that, um, it's not out of the realm of possibility for KD to have, to have said it out of anger, or at least say something out of anger that sounded like what Jay William recollects, because sometimes people can have different memories of the same event, you know what I'm saying, your perspective. Maybe the way KD said it 
In his mind, he said it like this. Hey, yo, bro. I got a bone to pick with you, man. You know how hard I work on my game, man? You know how hard I work on my game to be who I am, man? You know, that shit you pulled on the show the other day, man. Don't Look, man, I like Giannis, man. You know what I'm saying? I like Giannis, but he's young, man. Don't compare me and him like that. You know how hard I work on my game, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's not fair to him. Don't compare my game to him. Maybe he said it like that. Jay William hears it like, hey, yo, I'm KD, bro. Don't ever fucking compare me to, to Giannis. And that part stuck in his head. He just heard that part. The other stuff didn't really register. But the don't ever fucking compare me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just playing devil's advocate. And when you look at the Nets team, right? When you look at James Harden, you look at Kyrie Irving, you look at Kevin Durant, you have three of arguably the most skilled basketball players we've ever seen. And in the past, they have said things that were derogatory or appeared to be derogatory about their past teammates. Even Durant, you know, uh, said something to the effect of when he was in OKC, he was kind of tired of being the only guy that had a jump shot. Kyrie recently said something about when he was in Cleveland, he was the only guy that, you know, could make, uh, you know, last second jump shots and shit, you know, consistently. And we know that James Harden got into it with Giannis saying, uh, I wish I was seven feet tall and could run up and down the court and dunk, you know, and don't have to have basketball skills. So basically what I'm saying is, is it possible Durant could have thought that? When Jay Will said that, Giannis was a combination of Davis, who was a guy with a lot of skill, and 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 uh, Kevin Durant. Yeah, that could be something that could piss you off if you're a guy that you know you work on your basketball skills, and another guy really is a great athlete, but he's not a great shooter or a great skilled offensive player, yeah, that, that could get on your nerves. That could irritate you. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, it's like this. I kind of compare it to like, uh, what I compare it to? It's like Barry Bonds, okay? Barry Bonds, possibly, I'll say used steroids. He probably did, but you can't prove it. Why did he do it? Did he have to do it? No. Um, but I'm pretty sure it pissed him off during 1997, 98, 99, 2000 during that time period where he saw guys like Mark McGuire, who was one-dimensional, Sammy Sosa, who was at best three-dimensional, but then became one-dimensional. These guys hit a lot of home runs based off of PED usage to a great degree, but they hit for low averages, and they weren't the players that Bonds was. And Bonds didn't get the same type of recognition as those guys did for a spell. You know what I'm saying? Even though Bonds was the best player in the game, he wasn't the most popular guy. And guys who were not nearly as skilled as he was, Derek Jeter, and to an extent Kyle Griffin Jr., Kyle Griffin Jr. excuse me, were getting more press and were more uh, beloved than he was. So, you know, is it possible that Durant may have kind of resented comparisons? Yeah, I, I can see that. But at the end of the day, I don't think he's the type of person that would go around and voice that shit. Like, his personality is different from Kobe's. 
and Jordan. You know, Kobe said, don't ever compare Ray Allen to me. Don't ever compare him in the same breath as me. Jordan would say, you know, uh, don't compare Clyde Drexler to me. You know, don't compare, you know, this dude to me. You know, it's, it's a joke. That's their personality. KD's personality is more of a reactor. He reacts to things that have been said to him rather than go out and be a bully or or say shit like that. But it's possible that pissed him off. It's possible because if you're a guy like KD and you work on your game the way you have, where you're arguably, arguably, and a lot of people call uh, Steph Curry the greatest shooter, but KD can shoot from all over the floor. Now, he may not shoot 40-foot three-pointers, but KD's a 39% career three-point shooter. He's an 88, 89% foul shooter. He's shot over 50% for like eight, nine years in a row now. Uh, he can shoot from all over the court, three-point range, mid-range, in the paint. He can score from all over the court. And he spawned the floor. He can create his own shot from anywhere. What I'm saying is he's arguably the greatest pure scorer the NBA has ever seen. So, yeah, I could see him getting personally irritated at someone comparing Giannis Antetokounmpo, his game to his. And it's not a slight on Giannis. It's insulting. It'll be like, you know, uh, it'll be like somebody like Floyd Mayweather getting mad because somebody like uh, trying to think of somebody. I'm trying to think of a better comparison. It'll be like somebody like uh, okay. It'll be like somebody like Roy Jones Jr., right? Getting mad because somebody's comparing Felix Trinidad to him. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody comparing... No, this is an even better comparison. This would be like somebody comparing Floyd May, uh, Floyd Patterson and Rocky Marciano. Okay? Rocky Marciano was a great heavyweight champion. But when it comes to skills, Floyd Patterson and Rocky Marciano are on different levels. It's, it's just a fact. It's a fact. When it comes to the NBA, Kobe Bryant and let's say uh, somebody like uh, Moses Malone, not the same position, but when it comes to skill set, they're not on the same level. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, it, it's it's levels to it when it comes to skill. I'm not talking about like actual player and your resume and all that. I'm talking about what you can, your actual skill set. And I could see Kevin Durant possibly getting pissed off about that. What it what it comes down to is what was actually said. And, you know, people's per, uh, recollection of the situation, you know. Irregardless, however, no matter what was said, Jay Williams had no right to put that out there. And also, why wait until your show comes on to, re to rebut uh, what, Steven Jackson said, or KD said. So, obviously, this guy has, you know, certain things in his sights. You know what I'm saying? Um, think about it. You got 
all these guys now getting all this buzz out there. Uh, look, Kwame has been going at Steven, Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes. Kwame's gotten a lot of traction out of that. But let's be honest, so have Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes. So you have to kind of look at it from all different angles. It's quite possible that a guy like Jay Williams, who I've heard, I don't know him, I could this could be wrong, but I've heard he's a very rather envious type person. Yeah, he could be pressured by uh a lot of shit to reveal things that he knows that he shouldn't reveal, but he's doing it for buzz and clicks and hits and likes and and, 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 and you know, notoriety, you know, and ultimately shit. Like I said, these guys are looking for they think well, they, well, it's something that can help their careers. They want that fucking, uh, you know, they want that satellite radio deal. Uh, deal. You know what I'm saying? Like these guys, they're looking to go beyond ESPN and, and, and be their own brand. Like a Stephen A. Smith or a Skip Bayless or something. You know what I'm saying? Because Jay Williams is still on the, on the, when you look at all of the analysts out there, he's on the lower tier. Nobody really talks about him like that. So at the end of the day, I still think that Jay Williams is wrong, but it's possible. It's possible. Kevin Durant may have said something to that effect. It's possible. But tell me what you guys think.